All right, so this is the second part of 712. We're going to go into solving logarithmic equations, and we're going to look at some basic forms of solving logarithmic equations. So we're going to solve logarithmic equations. So when we solve logarithmic equations, there's going to be situations where we may have to use those properties that we learned. It is part of the reason why we learned those properties. It teaches us how to manipulate various logarithms. Now, when we do solve, though, logarithms do have a domain restriction. We've talked about this. We said that you can't have a zero inside of a logarithm, and you can't have a negative inside of a logarithm. So because there's a domain restriction, extraneous solutions exist, which means we have to check our answers. So let's look at this first one. So solve for it. Well, I have a log on both sides. Everything, it's only one log on both sides. And so we can convert it into exponential form. This is log, so base 10. Well, when you do that, that cancels out. And so you get 3x minus 1 equals 4 minus x. Now all I want to do is just get x by itself. So add x to both sides. So I get 4x minus 1 equals 4. Add 1 to both sides. You're going to get 4x equals 5. Divide both sides by 4, you get x equals 5 over 4. Now I have to check my answer. I want to make sure that they're going to simplify into the same thing. Or I, at least I want to make sure that it's not going to you know, be a negative or a zero on the inside. So plugging it back in, log 3 times 5 fourths minus 1. Does that equal log 4 minus 5 fourths. And so here you're going to get 15 fourths minus 4 over 4, right? Because I'm confining the common denominator, so I multiplied that 1 by 4 over 4, and that's the log of that. Does that equal? Now, if you do the same thing here, this is 16 over 4 minus 5 over 4, so the log of 16 over 4 minus 5 over 4. Okay, so here I'm going to get 11 fourths. Over here I'm going to get 11 fourths, and so it's the log of that. Those equal each other, check. Okay, so this is a solution that I can use. We have to check our answers because you may get extraneous solutions. Next one. So this is log base 3 is 7 minus 2x. So we get rid of the log, we convert it into exponential form, so base 3 to both sides. Those cancel out 7 minus 2x equals 9, because 3 squared is 9, minus 7, divide by negative, x equals negative 1, plug the negative 1 back in, I'm going to get 7 minus 2 times negative 1, that's going to be addition, so that's 9, so log base 3 of 9, does that equal 2? It sure does, so that works. Now this next one, if you notice, on the left side, I have two logs. I can't do this. This, nope. You can't do that. You can't do like a distributive base. That makes zero sense. You can't do it. There's no such thing as, you know, writing it that way. So this is where the property of logs come in. I need to combine those together. So because this is addition, that means, and these are the same log, right, this log of the same base, you multiply these together. So you write log once, you combine it into one log, and it's going to be x times 8. Now that it is one logarithm, I can now convert it. So 8x equals 100. Divide both sides by 8. x equals 100 over 8. Now if I were to plug that back in, am I going to get a negative inside? Am I going to get a zero inside? No, it's going to work. Next one. So same idea. I have these two logs. I don't want those two logs. So combining them together, because this is a negative, that 2 is going to go into the denominator. So combining it into one logarithm, x over 2, then changing the base. Right, That's 10 to the first power. 
So to get rid of that 2 in the denominator, multiply both sides by 2. x equals 20. And so for here, if I plug that back in, I'll just show it just in case you guys are like, hey, how does that look like? Log 20 minus log 2 equals 1. So that's log 20 over 2. Does that equal 1? Well, 20 over 2 is 10. Well, log 10, that simplifies into 1. So 1 equals 1. So it works. A little bit more complicated one. So on this one, it's log base 9. It's OK. Minus, which means that's going to go on the denominator. So writing it as 1 log. So log base 9 of x plus 6 over x equals log base 9 of 2. So now base 9 to both sides, those cancel out. x plus 9 over x equals 2. Multiply both sides by x because I have to get it out of the denominator. Minus x on both sides, 6 equals x. Now if I plug that back in, if I plug it back in, I'm not going to get a negative or zero, not going to get a negative or zero. It's a pretty good indicator that it's going to work. But if you do plug that back in, it will work. Just saving some time. Next one. So ln of x minus 3 minus ln of x minus 5. So minus, so this is in the denominator. That's positive. That's why it's in the numerator. So we write it as 1. So ln, and I get x minus 3 over x minus 5 equals ln of 5. Now one thing we did talk about. Right, ln is the same as log base e. So base e is what's going to cancel out with this. So I get x minus 3 over x minus 5 equals 5. So now to get this out of the denominator, you're going to multiply by x minus 5. So I get x minus 3 equals, now if that distributes, 5x minus 25 minus x on both sides. Add 25. So negative 3 and 25 gives me 22. So I get 22 equals 4x. Divide everything by 4. 11 over 2 equals x. Now if you plug those back in, it doesn't seem I won't get a negative or 0. Won't get a negative or 0, so those seem to work. This one, I want you guys to go ahead and give it a shot. Go ahead and pause and give this one a chance. All right, so let's go over it. So this will be, write it as 1. This is positive, so that's on top. So 2 over and then 3x plus 2 equals 1. The get rid of ln, right, it's e. And you're probably wondering, wait, what do I do with that e? It's just e. It's okay. E is a number. Uh, if you enter E into your calculator, like E to the first, right, it'll give you a number. It's just a number, like pi. It's just a number. No need to worry with it. I know it's weird, but this is the first time we're working with it. So I got to get x out of the denominator. So 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2. So those cancel out. So I get 2 equals E times 3x plus 2. I can divide both sides by E. So 2 over e equals 3x plus 2, minus 2 on both sides. So 2 over e minus 2 equals 3x, then divide everything by 3. So 2 over e minus 2 all over 3 equals x. Yep, that's super weird. And if you were to take that and plug it back in into your calculator to see if things simplify, they will. They 100% will. So let's close today's lesson. So what did we learn today? We learned how to solve logarithmic equations. Now, just to point out, remember, we may have to use properties to be able to combine things together. Because when we convert it into exponential equations, if we have more than one log on the same side, it will not simplify what we need to. So that's why we need to combine them together into one logarithm. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the